Hi guys, good morning. Happy Vlogmas day four. Oh my gosh, you guys, only 20 more days until Christmas. Gosh, I love doing Vlogmas right now because I feel like the countdown is real and I feel like every day that I'm counting down, it's making it more and more real that Christmas is just around the corner. Whoop, whoop. Anyways, I'm gonna make my morning coffee and get started with my day, another work from home day, um, even though London is not in lockdown, as I've mentioned in previous vlogs, I work in the tech sector or um, in software. And because of such, um, my company is keeping us working from home until probably there is a vaccine for everything. Um, we'll see what happens in the new year, but I am still working from home. Nothing's changed on that front. So I thought I would make my morning coffee with you guys and get settled in for work. So guys, this year, because I am working from home, I decided that I am going to be keeping my Christmas tree on all day. I know that's going to add to the power bill, but because I'm working from home, I thought, why not? I'll be festive all day long. It doesn't have to be dark out for me to turn on my Christmas tree lights. Um, I am just going to, yeah, keep them on because they make me feel happy and calm and relaxed and excited for Christmas. Uh, yeah. So I've turned them on all day. Usually I only turn them on when I get home from work in the evening, but why not? This year's a little bit different. Might as well indulge in having my lights on all day. So guys, I just had my lunch break. Or I'm taking my lunch break from working from home and I thought I would come out on the balcony and show you guys my winter garden update. Now, if you guys have not seen my updates before, I am a big gardener, I love gardening, but I only have a balcony in London, and as such, I have made the most use of my space on my balcony here in London, and yeah, I have a few leftover plants to share with you guys. A lot of this has already been shared on a previous video, which I have done like my balcony tour as well as a first harvest update, which I'll link up in the cards for you guys to check out right now if you want to check out those videos. But I thought today would be fun to give you guys kind of like a winter update. So I want to give you guys a holistic review of everything I've grown on my garden in 2020, my total yields of all the vegetables I've grown, because I'm really proud of that, and then show you guys what's remaining, because this is kind of what's left. And it is getting cold. It is December, obviously. We are into probably one of the coldest months of the year in the UK. Well, actually, probably January, February is the coldest. But I thought sharing with you guys everything that's left in my garden and kind of doing a little bit of a recap of 2020 would be fun to share on today's vlog so stick around I'm going to give you a little bit of review let me just grab a chair and sit down and then we'll get into it so guys this is what's left as you can see here it's not a lot and honestly most things are dying off and kind of you know just seeing the end of the season mainly because it is cold outside it is very cold out right now but you can see down here I still have a few peppers going and as you can see here I have a few tomatoes also going here so honestly I have quite a few more plants still kind of going but you can see that also the plants are dying I mean it is super cold outside overnight as well I think it gets down to zero if not very close to zero and because of that it is super cold and these plants are not designed for that type of weather to be honest i'm amazed that most have not died from frost yet but most of them are still hanging in there i'm still picking some plants or some vegetables from the plants every now and then so i thought it would be fun to kind of give you guys an update of everything and uh yeah just show you guys what i have left and what was yielded so far so guys as you can see from around me i am just sat on my balcony and it is freezing outside so i want to do this update really quickly for you guys i'm sat actually on an amazing chair that i bought on amazon so if you guys are looking for a 
balcony chair or any patio furniture, I guess now would be the time to buy something like that because buying it now means you're not gonna pay an overpriced price for it in the summer next year, which is what I did. But I'll make sure to link these chairs down in the description below. But like I said earlier, I wanna kinda give you guys a quick review of my balcony and everything that I grew on it this year. So if you have che checked out my previous videos, you would have seen that I grew a lot of stuff on a small London balcony, which has been so awesome, honestly. Like, I have to say I've appreciated my balcony so much this year, mainly due to the fact that, you know, this was a year of lockdown. It was a year of living at home. And when you live in a small London apartment, having some sort of outdoor space is a major difference to your mood, to your energy, to just having that fresh air outside on your balcony. So I really appreciate it. And as such, I grew an entire, I don't even know what to call it, like so much stuff. And it was just so nice to have outdoor space and gardening to me. I know it sounds like something old people would say, but it is such a fun hobby and I would recommend you checking it out. I know it makes me old, it makes me feel like I'm old as well, but gardening has been so much fun this summer and I've yielded so much stuff that I've been able to cook with and growing your own vegetables and then being able to then cook with those vegetables is so satisfying honestly it gave me so much reward to be able to cook with all these things and uh yeah i have mainly grown peppers so chili peppers and tomatoes i think those were my biggest yield i also grew things like um onions and also i have a lemon plant so guys let me pull up a list of everything that i have grown in 2020 i made a list on my notion which is a app where i capture all my notes of my life and i thought i would share with you guys everything that i originally grew in my garden and the final roundup everything that i grew so the total numbers so in the beginning i grew some strawberries i had 46 chili plants i had six Brussels sprout plants, 25 tomato plants, one raspberry bush, one blackberry bush, and a pot of onions. So from all of that, I yielded, okay, so my chili plants yielded 2.1 kilos of chilies. Oh my gosh, 2.1 kilos. I'm still growing a few more, but that's what I'm gonna say is the official number. And then from tomatoes, I grew, from 25 plants, by the way, so I had 25 tomato plants, I grew 12.5 kilos. That's my total. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I had 12.5 kilos. On my balcony garden, I did not have any garden space. I just had a balcony. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. I had 29 grams of raspberries and 555 grams of onions. Oh my gosh, you guys, honestly, I'm so proud of myself this year. I cannot believe how much I grew. It's just been an adventure to yeah, grow things on my balcony. And this winter, things are gonna start dying off. You guys would have seen a previous vlog where I cleaned up my balcony and I'm probably, the plants you see left, I'm just kind of waiting for them to kind of die off. Frost will probably kill them, but I will probably be growing stuff from January, February of next year because I start growing things inside actually and then I bring them outside. So make sure you guys stay tuned, subscribe to my channel because I will be growing more stuff in the new year and I'll share that with you guys on my channel in the new year. Year. but for now I thought that would be a great update as we go into Christmas just some things to celebrate because I've just really realized that this year in 2020 we have to take every opportunity to celebrate anything as small or as big as it is and I'm definitely celebrating my balcony garden this year super proud of it I hope you guys are proud of it as well give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed all my gardening this year and yeah anyways I have to get back to work so I'm gonna go back inside because it's freezing and I'll get back to work and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm I'm done with work for the day. So guys, I am done with work for the day. What a long day and honestly a long week. I am so tired. I just don't even know what to say. I feel like the days are blurring by, like they're just so quick and I just feel like <sighs> work from home gets so tough sometimes. I mean, sometimes to find the balance to actually shut off from work and start doing things you wanna do at home is so Hard. I feel like over the last eight months, it's been eight months that uh, we've been working from home in London. Over the last eight months, I just feel like it's really hard to, to just shut off. Like I usually start work in an office at roughly 9 a.m., but because of lockdown and because from working from home, I sometimes start as early as 7.30, if not 8 a.m. And... I work sometimes until 6, 7 p.m. And because it's just, I'm sitting at home, I tend to check my emails and things like that. And 
I don't condone it. I totally believe in work-life balance, and I think I'm really good about that, and I really like that about living in Europe. I think that most times I've always experienced like good work-life balance while living in Europe, but I have to say that like, I don't know, like just these last few months of working from home has been so difficult because of the pandemic and because of everything that this happened. I just, uh, I find it really hard to find balance sometimes and I'm just, oh, anyways, I'm, I'm going to stop complaining. I'm going to stop saying all these things like I'm grateful to have a job and everything's fine. But I'm also, for those of you guys that have been following along on my vlogs and just know a little bit more about me is that I am waiting for a visa process. I am waiting for my indefinite leave to remain visa to come through. And when that comes through, I just feel like I'll have a lot less stress and worry on my mind. And it's just a waiting game. When you apply for indefinite leave to remain or when you apply for um, citizenship in the UK or actually most visas in the UK is kind of a black hole of waiting. And due to the fact that COVID's happened and there's no priority services when it comes to finishing or deciding on a visa process like the home office can take any like anywhere from a few weeks to a few months to six months to give you a decision on your visa so I feel like the compounding stress of work and waiting for a visa has led me to just have crazy days and I sometimes feel like I don't get a break at all um that being said I want to go into the weekend feeling nice and positive because it is Christmas. I'm, I'm trying to be positive here. It's just, it's so hard sometimes. Like honestly, if you guys are feeling the same and you guys feel like working from home and the, not having a balance between work life and home life and just enjoying things and, and, and taking a holiday. I mean, I've even taken a few days off this year and I've tried to do a staycation, but then I just do life admin work on, on weekdays and weekends and and it's never really a true holiday. I haven't gone away. I haven't gone on a flight. I haven't traveled in so long and haven't seen my family. And it's just like really, I think, impacting me. I think also the lead up to Christmas time, like not knowing the next time I'm actually going to see family is also really tough. Um, yeah. Vlogmas is supposed to be happy, guys. So I'm trying to stay positive, but it's always not every day is not a happy, positive day. So it's, it's a little bit hard. Um, that being said, I wanted to kind of treat myself a little bit. And I bought these Just Roll cinnamon swirls, freshly baked in just minutes. And I think I'm gonna just put them in the oven and uh, give myself a little treat for getting through this week. Um, yeah, I mean, all I have to say is just don't be hard on yourself. I take every day one day at a time. Sometimes it's really tough to find balance in work and life and home life and uh, it's not only when, when there's a global pandemic and we're in lockdown. I just feel like this year is so different. The lead up to Christmas is just going to be so different. I remember last year I was going out every single night. And even though we are allowed to go out in London, it's just, it's just not the same. I'm not going into an office. I'm not seeing my colleagues. I'm only sitting on a Zoom meeting, as you guys would have seen. And I'm only going into London sometimes on the weekends, not really on the weekdays anymore. So it's not the same. The lead up to Vlogmas is just doesn't feel the same, or sorry, the lead up to Christmas. Like, I remember I was going out to so many restaurants, trying so many different Christmas menus last year, which I will do some this year, but it's just it's just not the same. And um, yeah, all I can say is don't be too hard on yourself because this year isn't the same. I know a lot of people, and myself included, have been really hard on um, yourself because it's, it's, it's been a tough year all around. But hopefully, Cinnamon Swirls makes us feel better about 2020. And really, there's like 28, 21, 25, I don't know, I've lost track. Only like less than 30 days until the new year and hopefully 2020 and Christmas brings better things than all of 2020 combined. So anyways, let's make these cinnamon rolls and I will enjoy them. So let me make them and then I'll show you guys what they look like and how they turn out. we wait I thought I could open my advent calendar with you guys now I was thinking I was like that's a little bit greedy I'm making cinnamon rolls and then I'm also getting not one treat but two treats because I have two advent calendars this year but I thought why not it is 
time to indulge and also i was thinking like Whenever I sometimes cook, I end up making like a snack or a pre-dinner snack. Do you guys do that? Because I totally do that. Sometimes like when I'm cooking, I end up getting hungry or when I'm preparing things, I end up getting hungrier. And because of such, I was like, hmm, I'm getting hungry waiting for my cinnamon rolls to be actually like to bake and so I can try them and I have to wait about 15 minutes for them in the oven. So I was like, why not open my advent calendar and show you guys my next day, which it is day four now. And if you guys haven't tuned into my previous vlogs, I have two advent calendars this year because honestly, advent calendars aren't a thing in America. And um, I thought why not overindulge because it's 2020 and why not? And this year calls for a little bit of extra chocolate to make things better. Um, okay, I found day four. So day four is here. Let's open it up. Oh, the chocolate fell out. I got a another chocolate bar or chocolate ball. What am I saying? Bar. Um, Lindt Lindor chocolate bar. And then let's open this one. This one's more interactive and more fun. And I, I actually am kind of growing to like this one. So where is day four on this? Day 10, 1, 15, 21, 7, 5, 6, 24, 17, 12, 9. Where is four? Where are you four? 2, 22, 19, 23. Oh my gosh, I swear to God, finding anything on this advent calendar is like actually a mental workout. 6, 24, 17, 12, 9. Okay, not there. 5, 7, 21, 15, 1, 4. Found 4. It's down at the very bottom. It was hiding from me. Oh my gosh, again, the same as yesterday. Ah, this is so annoying. I feel like I get the same chocolate two days in a row. Like day one and day two were the same one. And then now day three and day four is this chomp chocolate, which is very misleading because I think this is chompy and crunchy when it's not. It's actually like chewy caramel. Ugh, this thing is so annoying. I feel like every... Uh, like every second day is when it actually changes. So one and two is the same, three and four is the same. I wonder if it's actually gonna change tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow to see what it is tomorrow. I wonder if I'm gonna get a different chocolate. But let me go check on my cinnamon rolls and I will eat these while I'm waiting for my cinnamon rolls to bake. <laughs> So guys, these are my cinnamon rolls all finished. I'm gonna let them cool for a minute before I start eating one. But the one thing I've noticed in Europe, so in Germany and in the UK, is that cinnamon swirl or cinnamon rolls here, the ones that you can buy either pre-made or made in a bakery, usually don't have cream cheese frosting on them. Is that an American thing? I don't even know because I've just, I grew up with swish, squishy, cinnamon doughy cinnamon rolls that have cream cheese frosting on them like Cinnabon. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Cinnabon before but it is the best cinnamon rolls in the whole world. Very common in the US. They're, they do have a few here in the UK but those are the only places that I can find these kind of cinnamon whir rolls, whirls, whatever you want to call them, with cream cheese frosting. Everything you buy in a store or even in like bakeries always just have like sugar glaze or powdered sugar something on top kind of disappointing but anyways um let's see if these cinnamon rolls are as good as the ikea frozen ones that i have talked about in previous vlogs i'll give you guys a taste test in a second so guys let's taste test these cinnamon swirls mm. i mean they're good they're super flaky which is nice but no cream cheese frosting so can't rate it on that but for an instant craving, uh, for something that I was just like, had in the fridge and I just wanted some sort of dessert, even though this is a breakfast item, I wanted dessert. So I just threw this together and it tastes pretty good, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog today, but I wanted to mention something that I did yesterday. I said, it's only 21 days to Christmas yesterday on Vlogmas day three, when really Christmas is was 22 days ago yesterday. Mm, yeah. But today is actually 21 days to Christmas day. But shout out to all my German viewers because when I was living in Germany, I learned that 
everyone counts down to Christmas Eve, not Christmas Day. And here in the UK, obviously, people count down to Christmas Day. So I was saying 21 days yesterday, which meant 21 days until Christmas Eve. But actually, today is 21 days until the 25th of December, which is Christmas Day. Anyways, long story short, I'm just getting so confused with which day it is and how many more days until Christmas. I'm excited, though, because we're getting ever so close to Christmas, one day closer than yesterday. I'm gonna finish eating this and I just wanted to wrap up today and say that I hope you guys are having so much fun in this lead up to Christmas. I know it's gonna be a little bit different of a Christmas this year, so I hope you guys are celebrating in any which way that you can. I hope you are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. If you guys are enjoying my Vlogmas content, please do make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to create more content like this. And if you have any suggestions for Vlogmas content, do leave it down in the comments below. And if you've made it to this point of the video, and you haven't already subscribed, what are you doing? Smash that subscribe button and make sure you turn on that bell notification so you know exactly when my next Vlogmas video is going live. I also just record my life in general as an American in London, so if you want content like that, do subscribe. But I will catch you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas, so bye for now. Mm -hmm.